It's a multi-criteria spatial methodology aimed at helping practitioners, uh, policy makers, scientific community, NGOs plan their restoration in a smart way on the ground. So basically we are now in the era of restoration and we have several commitments at global scale, at local scale, at national scale. And our point is the way you choose to do that on the ground, the places you're going to to restore will make a huge difference between being something very expensive with limited benefits or being something cheaper with a great deal of benefits. And that's what the methodology tries to help. It tries to achieve the best cost benefit on your spatial prioritization. The interesting aspect is that both cost and benefits are defined by the users, are defined by the local communities, the national governments, the context you are working with. Because of course the benefit for you will be different from the benefit in another community. So the example I showed, we use carbon and biodiversity as the main benefits and then there's the cost of restoration and the cost of agricultural production as, as the main cost. But that is because it was defined by the government we were working with, the Brazilian government in that case. The main goal of the methodology is to be flexible enough to integrate any type of benefit you want and any type of cost and give you an optimal spatial prioritization. It's, in other words, the multi-criteria can be understanding as multiple benefits and multiple costs. In the case I presented, we have two benefits, carbon and biodiversity. But our methodology is also capable of including water benefits, pollination, social benefits for local communities. So it's multi-criteria in the sense that you can define which criteria, which benefits you want to prioritize for and that should ideally be done through a multi-stakeholder engagement process. They will be the ones telling us what they want to be prioritized for. And then we run this custom-made linear programming model that we developed that will give back to the practitioners the optimal prioritization based on the goals they selected. And then there is again that's validated if that's not good enough for any reasons you run again. So it's an interactive process, but the multi-criteria is to achieve multiple goals at minimum cost.